So now we're going to look at inconsistent systems, or systems of equations that have no solution. In this case, there's no real preference whether we do substitution or elimination. Because once we reach our desired result, everything is going to come to a screeching halt. So I'm going to choose to do elimination with this. And I think the easiest thing to do is to eliminate y. All I have to do is multiply this y by minus 5. Then when I add that result to a plus 5y, they'll end up canceling. So let's eliminate y. We'll do that by, as I said, multiplying equation 1 by minus 5 and adding it to equation 2. So equation 1 times minus 5 is minus 15x. Then minus 5 times y is minus 5y. And minus 5 times 2 is minus 10. Then equation 2, we're not changing that at all. So we're just going to copy it down as it is no change is necessary. When we add everything up, cancel, cancel, so there's nothing, or zero on the left hand side, and five on the right, and we get zero equals five. Well, like hell it is. You get a contradictory statement, you have an inconsistent system, hence inconsistent. It is inconsistent that 0 equals 5. It is total crap that 0 equals 5. So it is total crap that these two things could be solved simultaneously. There is no solution. That's it. The book's going to write it in its classic confusing notation. Uh, a circle or a zero, if you will, with a line through it, denoting uh, what mathematicians refer to as the empty set, the collection of solutions which has no solutions in it. Or why don't we just write no solution? Why are we being pretentious? Well, it's because what we're mathematicians, and that's what we're good at. So if you're good at it, yeah. Do it well. Let's look at 28. 6x plus 5y is equal to 11. And then 9x plus 15 halves y equals 21. So, doesn't look like there's a good variable to eliminate, or at least not an obvious one like there was here. You know, here we didn't even have to touch equation 2. We just had to multiply equation 1 by minus 5, and everything else finished on its own. And it doesn't look like there's anything nice to substitute. You know, I don't really want to solve for x or y in either of these equations. So, at least for me, my default is elimination. Yours might be different because you're more comfortable with substitution. You know, you're more, you just know how to do the messy algebra to do this. You don't know how to do elimination. You haven't got the hang of it yet. Fine. Not a problem. But in this case, I've got the camera, I've got the pen, I'm doing it my way. So we're doing elimination, and I think we will be eliminating x. And so, in eliminating x, we got to find a number into which 6 and 9 divide evenly. Well, I could multiply them together to get 54, but there's a smaller number, and I like smaller numbers because it makes the arithmetic easier. What about uh, 18? Now, 6 times 3 is 18, and 9 times 2 is 18. 
So this will be 3 times equation 1 and 2 times equation 2. But this will give me 3 times 6 is 18, 2 times 9 is 18. When I add these things up, you know, 18 plus 18 doesn't cancel. So I have to change the sign of one of these so that one will end up being positive and the other will end up being negative. So in this case, multiplying 3 times equation 1 this has the positive 18x along with a 15y equals 33 and in the new equation 2 this is where I have the minus 18x so one of them has a positive 18 one of them has a minus 18x this is good something will be eliminated elimination will be successful and the nice part about this is multiplying 15 halves by 2 we'll just make this minus 15 or minus 15 y, the y is still there minus 2 times 21 is minus 42 again cancel 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 there's nothing left or zero left on the left and on the right we have something that isn't zero and so we reach a clearly false statement which means we have an inconsistent system and an inconsistent system is a fancy way of saying we've got no solution to this problem that should be it for these videos and that should be it for the class I hope you have survived this long and <laughs> will continue to survive through the remainder of the class